got a fire here at uh, 222 Peter Street. I heard all everybody be dispatched here, but got the whole street blocked off here. I was out for a ride and got the message on my phone. I'm bringing in another pump. Looks like uh, oh, there is smoke coming from the building, and they're on top of the building. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty bad. I don't know if it's a uh, got more trucks coming in, but uh, looks pretty bad here. Yeah. One big ass firefighter right there. Got uh, Division One blocked off all the way down here, and uh, looks like they're coming in from the other side too. I'll head over there in a second. Wow, got multiple alarms here. I see at least uh, two trucks back there, three, three trucks back there, and we got uh, they're all the way down. Here, right in front of the building here, this is the one that's on fire. Uh, City of Atlanta. Here we go. Sad. Apparently, this is a uh, electrical supplier or distributor. Don't know what would have caught on fire. Nobody was in the building. I don't think they were open during the weekend. Here's the news crews. A lot of stuff happening here. Less than a block away from my house. Anyhow. Go get him, Atlanta. There's man. Oh, there's fire going shooting through the roof. Shooting through the roof. Hoses out. Ooh. Oh, I feel rain. I feel rain. All right, I'm live. I'm live from the fire in my neighborhood here. Got all the fire trucks out here. This building right here is on fire. They're trying to put it out now. Pretty bad, we got fire trucks all over the place here. I can't even see. <laughs> I got some footage before they started hitting it with the water. I live. But, it looks pretty bad. Go ahead, City of Atlanta. I said, go City of Atlanta. There they go, that's one of the guys who's on the roof. Never a dull moment. You're meeting news crews out here, look at them, showing up late.
Looks like they may have gotten it out. The first fire truck to arrive to the scene, unfortunately, was involved in a minor car accident. Atlanta Fire Department saved the day and nobody was seriously hurt or injured. Unfortunately, there was significant damage done to the building, but everybody survived.